Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail. We are, um, oh yeah, hmm, well I haven't played this game in quite a couple of weeks now, or something, at least. And, uh, yeah, I've completely forgotten that we're already here, we're looking for the railroad, right? I think? Huh. Oh, crap. There's those things inside. <sighs> Where do I go to the railroad? <laughs> this sucks. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to take that thing out. Just in case there's something interesting here. There's no vents I can use around here. I mean, there's plenty, but uh, none of them that I can crawl into. Yeah, look at this. There is only that vent over there, and I can't actually get to it, so... That kinda sucks. Huh. No! I didn't want to go there! And, well, yes. Incapacitated. As per usual. Ow. So what do I actually have? I've got the hammerer, and I've got the marauder. Uh, I guess I'll just use the hammerer. Um, but I'll also use the telekinetic punch. Because that seems to do the most damage to these things. I mean, from my psi abilities anyway. They're not really great for these things, but hey. I can't execute now, though. Bam, ugh. That's all. Ooh, that wasn't bad at all. Uh, I don't have enough to shoot again, so... It's just gonna shoot me again. Ow. Well, it should be gone now. There we go, another critical hit. Excellent. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Ooh, a registration plate. This must be a vehicle registration plate from United Stations. You can only wonder how it got here. What do you mean, from United Stations? Do they have actual vehicles and they need to be registered? I thought it was just, you know... Trains. Alright, either way. There's a there's a little secret door there, but before we go there, let's check these uh, shelves over here. Nothing here. Nothing here. And nothing here. Wonderful. So, so far this room was not really worth it. Well, I got a bit of scrap there. Huh. That's interesting. Mechanically locked. It's not a problem for us. Where are my uh, lockpicks? Eh. Uh, here. Lockpick. I should probably put them on my bar here. Well, I can't actually. I could put them here, but oh well. Lock disabled. Are there gonna be any uh, mines around? That's a lot of lockers. Locked. That's empty. That's empty. That's empty. Uh, another hammer I can take. Ooh, some bandages and an old train schedule. Partially burned train schedule of lower underrail metro system. It's more XP for us. Ooh, more bullets. Yeah, this was this was quite worth it, I think. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now that uh, thing over there. We don't actually have... Do I have traps? No, I don't, right? No. I thought I had traps. Fragmine. Yeah, but my traps are really low, aren't they? Um, let's check. Traps, six. Yeah, there's no way I can uh, disarm this and not and you know, not have it go off in my face. That would not be nice. All right, let's go over here. I'm still trying to look for this bloody junk. Uh, well, not junkyard. Railroad station or something. Ah, oh, crap. Well, hey, at least he missed, right? Teleconnectic punch! Oh, come on! 91! And I'm stunned. Brilliant. Wonderful. And he can hit me from all the way over there. Brilliant. Dirty kick. Crippling strike, so I have less... Oh, God. What? This is ridiculous. So, let me get this straight. Uh, I came here by, by train. And I have no idea still where to go to get to this station. It's ridiculous. Come on. At least give me some directions. I mean, there are so many ways you can go here. It's ridiculous. So let's see. Oh, come on. Let's see what it says. What the locks say. Tanner wants you to find out what is happening in Rail Crossing and assist them with their problem. Yeah. Where is Rail Crossing? I took the bloody train. But this just seems to be abandoned stuff over here with crazy, crazy people all about. 
And we're gonna get straight into combat again? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, this is gonna be a good part. Yeah, this is gonna be a good place. This is certainly well the rail oh, where the rail crossing will be, right? Uh, well, there's a rat hound there. There are holes in here. Nothing here. Yet another exit. Man, it's a bloody maze, this place. And there's another exit over there. So let's just go over there past the rat hounds. Yeah, I'm not really interested in you rat hounds. Not really interested. There's a rat hound alpha. And of course I can't get... Why can't you go past here? Oh, because that's blocked. Uh, okay, use this then. Just kill them all. Nice. That, well, those both of them are dead. I need some more Psy Boosters thingies. Now this should be a lot um, cheaper now. Because action point cost of the next cold-based Psy ability reduced by 50%. Oh, only action point. Okay. But if I use this, am I going to extinguish him? No, I'm not. Good. I can use execute now. Bang. And, well, he's gonna die anyway. Because he's taking a lot of damage. Isn't he? He should be. Well, he's still alive. He's got, what, one health left? Oh. Well, that's alright. So that's that for the rat hounds. Can't take this ear because I've already studied it enough times. Let's reload this. Uh, 762. 762. Standard round. There we go. Alright, that's good. So, can you please give me the rail crossing? It would be nice. Oh, uh, this is not the rail crossing, is it? Wish I had some kind of a map. But there's no map. Well, there's nothing here. Oh, crap. More of those crazy people. I'm not even... Wait. I need to check if these are uh, enemies or not. Can I hide? Yeah, they are. Iron Head Gunner. <sighs> I think I need to go back to the railroad and just check where the hell I need to go from there. I mean, I can't check, but I need to take a different route because this just doesn't work. What the hell is that? There's a box here. Oh, great. There's a dog here. Probably more of those people. No, just dogs, apparently. It's nicely lit, though. Yeah, you know what? Ugh, oh, come on. I'm just gonna go back. Hello, dog. Bye, dog. Bloody hell. You'd think that the rail, uh, the, the, you know, you'd think that the train actually stopped at the rail crossing. Because, you know, that's where we went. Oh, great. Can't go here. Wait. I'm gonna try going past here. That guy's coming back. Where is he? Is he going back? Hopefully. Yes. Yeah, there's lots of them there. I'm not even gonna attempt going there. We're gonna go over here first. Okay, so here's the railroad. And this looks like, you know, the... The rail crossing should be on that side. But there's no people, no nothing. So I have to get to the other side. Via those little stairs, yeah. So... so weird. Or maybe I should go over there. Was I already over there? I'm not sure. Well, let's go check this side. See what we can find. I wonder why he can't just walk over the stairs. Hmm. I mean, it's obviously some kind of a game... Oh, engine limitation. Oh, this is empty. I mean, this is nothing here. Ugh. Bloody hell. So this episode will just be me wandering about. Finding nothing. Well, let's go the only way we can, then. 
Yeah, this is great. I love this railroad station. It's awesome. What's over here? Probably just more tracks. Oh. Oh, finally. God damn it. Oops. Why didn't the train stop here? Jeez. Man, I hope they didn't kill Buzzer. What's interesting here? Militia man. Dude is pretty weird guy if you ask me. Who? Who's a pretty weird guy? Those are some lovely seats. Militia man, commoner. Militia man. Militia man. Lots of militia men. Captain Harvey. Uh, Herve. Hello, traveler. I'm Herve, captain of the militia and the de facto mayor of this town. We're usually a friendly and welcoming community, but you've chosen a bad day to pay us a visit. Why is this a bad day to visit? You must have heard the reports of Faceless invading the core city by now, right? Well, we got our own problems with the Faceless here. They busted in with one of their tunnelers down the track south and occupied Buzzer's shop. We tried to blitz it back um, but, uh, before they've set up that ended badly. But that ended badly. They killed three of my men and badly wounded one. Why do you think they occupied Buzzer's shop? I can't say for sure. Maybe they want something from him or his shop. Buzzer's known to trade in strange electronics. Maybe he got a hold of something they want. Or maybe they actually plan to tunnel out somewhere else in town and just improvise once they realize they missed their target. What are you going to do about the faceless? There's not much we can do at this point. We barely have enough men to fight them off if they come at us now. If we rush them again and suffer more losses, we're done. We'd have to evacuate the station. Maybe I could help you with your faceless situation. He looks at you curiously. That would most certainly mean you're risking your neck for us. Why would you want to do this? I'm from SGS, actually. Tanner sent me to lend you a hand. We humans should stand together against this faceless offensive. If your station falls today, my station could be next. I'd expect to be paid, of course. <laughs> I'm from SGS. Ah, I did put out a distress call to SGS. Are you the only one they could spare? I guess you people have your own problems. As I said, storming the shop is not an option anymore, as you'll have to figure out something else. Where is Buzz's shop, exactly? It's just to the south. It's guarded by a faceless and there are plasma walkers patrolling. Plasma walkers, bloody hell. And further down south is a train depot. How many fla faceless are there? When we tried to storm the shop, I saw three of them, but there could be more inside. Also, they had at least two plasma walkers patrolling the depot, so be careful if you go snooping around there. Miles had some ideas how to disable those when we discussed the possibility of a second attack. You should ask him about what he had in mind. He lives on the north side of the town. Is there another way to get into Butter's shop? Maybe through the tunnel, but I don't know what that state it's in. No one's been using it for a long time. You can access it through the trap door on the south end of the depot. The key is in my locker over there. Okay, catch you later. Let's get the locker then and get the key. We certainly don't want a frontal approach, because as awesome as we are, well, we're not that awesome, so... Lots of commoners. Ah, shops. That's what I'm talking about, Travis. Hi, I'm Travis, the mechanic. How can I help you? What's with all these broken quads? It's just some old junk I've been keeping around forever. None of them are functional, but there are still working parts that can be scrapped from them. Do you know why the faceless attacked rail crossing? No idea! They seem to want something from Buzzer, or just something from his shop. Show me what you have for trade. Okay, so he's currently buying repair kits, metal components, pneumatic components. Well, I can give him, well, mechanical repair kit. What would be the point in that? I just, you know, I bought these. So once again, I can't actually sell him anything. What I do want... Oh, repair kit. It's not bad. Recycle item. I might buy that. How much is this? Not bad. I've got lots of money. So yeah. He can have that. Anything else he has? Rubber sole, extended magazine. Of course, I'll probably need a mechanical skill for that, but... Uh, well, for now... Maybe more lockpicks. I mean... I do have quite a few of them. Yeah, for now, that's fine. Well, unfortunately, not much here. But hopefully there are more shops around here. Would be nice. 
Is that, is that an entrance? Yes, it is. It's a bar. Jared. How can I help you? What is your opinion on the faceless attack? To tell you the truth, I'm not bothered by their motives. I'm alive and that's what matters to me. Huh. How nice. Dude. <laughs> ah, mushroom brew. I could just sit here and enjoy this exquisite drink all day. He points to the barkeeper. He says I had too much, but don't believe him. He's a damn liar. By the way, people call me dude. Nice to meet you. Anyhow, how's it going, man? Hi, I'm Metal Canyon. Why do people call you dude? Because it's my name. Dude. Do you have a last name or something? As far as I can remember, nope. Just dude. What do you do around here? Well, I mostly drink mushroom brew, but I also have visions and communicate with higher beings. While we're at it... Turns towards the barkeeper and yells, Barkeeper! Another one! Yeah, I see where he's getting his visions from. You see, man, it's not easy having these powers. The immense knowledge makes my head hurt. Makes me tired and also makes my mouth dry for some reason. Maybe it's just the brew. He answers you with a drunken delay. It's not the damn brew. It's the powers, man. I could tell you interesting things beyond your imagination. But, now, hold on. I'm having a vision. Dude quickly takes another sip of the mushroom brew, after which he lowers his head and begins mumbling. After a minute or so, he looks back at you. How's it going, man? <laughs> what the hell was that? Tell me what you saw. He seems very confused. W what do you mean? The vision, dude. What do you saw in the vision? Oh, yeah, the vision. Well... I saw you going east from rail crossing, then you came upon a set of double doors. Behind those doors lies a robot. You saw me? Yeah, listen. Once you went past the robot, you saw a ventilation shaft to the right, then you went through. Through the ventilation shaft? Yeah, listen. Now you were in a warehouse. Not just any warehouse, no. This one is full of mines. But there is a way to avoid death. Listen now, this is important. Okay, I'm listening. Alright, if you don't want to get blown up, just don't step on them. Now, stepping on the mines is the key. If you step, you die. Step and perish. Wow, that was helpful. You're welcome. Now, once you went past the mines, there was a small room to the right. There you found a locker. I saw you got something very important from it, and that's where the vision ended. What did I pick up? No idea. It's all a bit fuzzy, man. But it was important. I'd be grateful if I could get my hands on it. Oh, okay, so basically he wants an item. I'll see what I can do. Great, man, I'll be here. Why do you think the Faceless attacked this town? Well, the Faceless are, as a matter of fact, a very sophisticated race of ancient half-men, half-gods, half-rocks. <laughs> That's three halves. Takes another sip of mushroom brew. You see, they were created a long time ago in the bowels of the earth. Who or what created them? High pressure. Anyway... They should have been completely human, but, you know, things happen and they turn out different. They have these rocks coming out of their faces and other body parts. That's why they wear masks and stuff. That brings us to the reason why they came here. They're searching for diamonds. A big, shiny diamond that glows in the dark, one of a kind. They want to put it in their palace and look cool and whatnot. And some folks want to sell that very diamond to Buzzer. That's why they came here. Finishes his mushroom brew. Wait a second, so the diamond has nothing to do with their disfigurement? No ancient powers to make them fully human or something like that? Ah, no. They're stuck with that. They just want that diamond because it looks nice. You've had too many mushroom brews, dude. Yeah, well, you know, that's just, like, your opinion, man. Could you tell me something interesting? Did you know that the uh, Azuri Day, also known as Psy Beetles, materialize out of frickin' nowhere? Before they even exist, they use their psi powers to materialize themselves wherever they want. How could they use their powers before they come to existence? Don't be thick, of course they can. Do you ever roam the caves and suddenly notice that bugs come out of nowhere? Like, you were there, saw no, ne uh, saw no nest or eggs or young bugs, then later, boom, psi beetles again and again. I'm telling you, new man. Cheers. I'll be going now. <laughs> And we will continue next time. At least we found this bloody place, so that's good, right? I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.